What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Jason the X back with another review for the Alternate Heads channel. And I'm taking a look at the Marvel Legends Deluxe Thanos. Now, this is the comic version of Thanos, a figure that we've gotten twice. But you know what? This is the best one. This is the best. I'm declaring that right now. Mainly because one of them I could never find. So that makes this one the best because it looks better than the one I have. But anyway, this is, oh man, the Mad Titan. A classic version of them. Going to look good on my classic shelf, but I've gone on long enough. Let's go ahead and get the big purple maniac out of the way and take a look at the big box that he comes in. Pretty nice. Got some Infinity, Soul, Infinity Stones on top. You can see Thanos is thrown back there, which I got to admit, that would make a really nice accessory for my Thanos. Perhaps I need to look into some 3D printing of some sort. But Marvel, the Infinity Gauntlet here, Thanos, ages four and up. Hasbro on the side, you've got the Mad Titan wielding the Affinity Gauntlet with all of the Infinity Stones inside. On the other side, you have that same artwork on the back. You have Thanos with Death looking over his shoulder. And now I kind of want a Death figure and this throne. So, you know, Hasbro, at least work on this Death figure for me. You know, I, whatever. I, I was going to make a bad joke about somehow this skeleton lady has curves. But, you know, hey, this is a 14 plus channel. I can make that. She has a skeleton with curves. I'm going to just go ahead and admit that. Anyway, the Mad Titan Thanos seizes control of the hallowed Infinity Gauntlet and wills near omnipotent power. Who can stop this vicious overlord? Well, a number of people have actually stopped him, including Squirrel Girl. But anyway, here is Thanos. Let's get a closer look at him. Boy, he looks good. I mean, there's a reason I'm calling this the best Thanos figure. And if I could just get the camera to please move up and cooperate with me, that would be good. Thank you. Man, look at that ugly mug, open wide, laughing, maniacally probably, that wrinkly chin that resembles body part I'm not going to say here, but um, and mine looks pretty good. There is a divot of gold out of that. I got this from uh, Amazon, which was good because I got it before Target, but you know, you can't exactly review the figures and see if they have any paint mishaps. I might try to fill that in, but I don't know if I have a gold that matches that. Going around, you have the gold trim around his mask, gold little ear cups there. This whole cast in plastic part here, and it is connected to the shoulders, but it is made of a kind of a flexible plastic, so you can't move it around. Straps going on underneath, these are painted. It's molded into the plastic. Musculature looks good on the body. I have his gauntlets here. I don't have him with any gauntlets on, just his regular gloves, which honestly, well, you'll, you'll see, they're just, they're just colored in, and not very well either. Take a look at the other side there. The gold looks good. I love the shadings of this dark blue and this light blue, almost into like this purplish kind of fade. Looks good. The shadowing and the paint is very well done on this figure. Got the gold belt along uh, the loincloth or just the skirt area here. It doesn't want to go down any further and also doesn't want to go up. I think it's pinned in somewhere. Oh, it looks like it is tabbed as we look under his skirt. It is tabbed in there with a very wide tab underneath there. Let's look under the back. Nothing there? Okay. He's got these ridged underwear, which I, I hope those are comfortable. Boots got some nice wrinkles on there, but very, um, very nicely done with the shade of gold plastic. It is broken up a little bit by the hinge, which is kind of a flat gold, but, you know, minor thing, very minor thing. This Thanos looks fantastic. Accessory wise, I don't need to really go into too much. He does come with a couple of alter alternate hands and an alternate head. Oh, that's the channel. You should like and subscribe. <laughs> anyway, he does come with an alternate hand, which has the infinity stones in there. You'll see that yellow is a lighter yellow, but you got the stones all represented there. And they do seem kind of cheaply painted, honestly. It, 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 it does. I'm going to go ahead and just say that. it. They're just kind of, they, they, I don't know. Maybe there was something that could have made them look more gem-like. Uh, and you do have another alternate hand. Actually, the painting looks better on this one, where he is getting ready to snap. Oh, he'd be snapping. He'd be snapping. Little John somewhere, they'd be like, oh, he'd be spitting. Anyway, you can take any one of these hands and just pop it off of the ball well not a ball joint it's like a little flat peg mushroom peg put that in there and they go in fairly well and they stay in fairly well now you got this open gripping hand 
where he can do his whole, you know, <laughs> I am Thanos. And, you know, wreak havoc and all that stuff. But the other thing that he comes with is an alternate head of old Thanos. And this one's very, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. Very wrinkly, very old looking, kind of like gritted teeth. This really long gray and blackish beard that's uh, got two little gray or uh, two little brown bindings on there. The crown looks very good, kind of a flat gold, but I think it looks good. And then you can pop that head off of young Thanos, or just the Thanos body. Pop off the the young head and bring that in, and there you go. There's the old one. If you got that cosmic Ghost Rider, you can make him. Uh, Thanos' is Herald, I'm messing up the camera. I'm totally messing up here. This is already going downhill. So anyway, but yeah, it looks good. And one thing I do like to do, I'm gonna go ahead and do a comparison real quick. So just a quick comparison. Here he is with that Thanos Builder figure that we got, which is a very loose figure, but he's got more of a modern look to him and everything is nothing real, nothing's a carryover. This is a brand new figure and I, I like they did that. I like that they've done this kind of wider boots with this Thanos. But what you can do is pop this head off and the old Thanos head fits perfectly on there. And I think that looks better. And I can't take complete credit for that. That is from my broadcast partner, Nathan. He came up with that idea. And I think this works. I think this looks, you know, like a more technolo technology, futuristic Thanos, whereas this one looks like the old school version. And I think it really does work. If you want to make use of that spare head, and you've got this body laying around. I don't really like this body that much. Like I said, it was kind of very loose. I never got the Walmart version that uh, had an extra Infinity Gauntlet, but yeah, I might just do this on my shelf. Articulation on the Mad Titan. He does have a hinge at the ankle, goes back about that far, goes forward about that far. The peg is into the foot, so you can get some tiltage all the way around the foot. His knees are double jointed. He can't kick his own butt. Nope, he can't do it. He can't do it. He does have a swivel at the calf. Does he have a swivel at the calf? Well, hang on. They can't both be seized up. There is no swivel at the calf. Huh. Ah, interesting take there, Marvel Legends. What's up, Hasbro? There is no swivel at, at the calf. I'm disappointed. There is one at the thigh, 360 degrees. Universal joints at the hips will go out about that far. We'll go forward about that far and back about that far. A little bit limited. You do have waist rotation at the lower waist. Torso joint goes all the way back. Got a nice click of a ratchet in there. Goes forward not very far. Hang on. It will, but it won't stay. I guess I can't get that ratchet to click in there. Oh, wait. No. I, ooh, I just... Okay, guys, don't uh, squeeze this all the way forward or you will scratch that paint just like I did. Well, I'm a dummy. If you look, yeah, I just totally scratched that paint. So that's as far forward as it goes because the ab muscles are stopping it. So yeah, don't do that. Don't do what I just did. <sighs> it's disappointing when you do that to figures on camera. I'm not going to get a new one. It's okay. It's, a, it's my mistake. It's battle damage. Shoulder will go out about that far, 360 degree turn, of course, there and at the bicep. Single jointed elbows will only go out about that far. You do have the, all of the uh, wrists will rotate on that peg. They are all hinged horizontally on all of his hands, by the way. And the head, you've seen it, is on kind of a double barbell joint, one at the bottom, one at the top. So you can get pretty expressive. Tilts to the side about that far, about that far, goes forward not very far, goes up about that far, but who does the Mad Titan look up to? Nobody, that's who. Nobody! And for some comparisons, here is Thanos with the, uh, the anniversary Captain America, a Captain Marvel, and the newest Hulk that was released in the two-pack with Wolverine. Thanos stands about eight and three-quarter inches tall. Final thoughts, I absolutely love this figure. It's perfectly done, I think. I like it, I like it. Please use caution and don't do what I did on camera. I'm asking you, don't do that on camera. But I think this is a great figure. He is popping up at Targets now. 
uh, please go get him if you want a classic Thanos for your shelf because I think he's a perfect representation. Anyway, guys, I am Jason the X. Make sure you follow us over at Alternate Heads Podcast on Instagram, and you can follow me personally on Twitter and Instagram at Jason the X. Until next time, guys, I will catch you later.